Hello Chatbox out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my Friday evening, my Saturday and my Sunday. On my Friday evening, after we'd gone to see my grandma and grandpa, we had some lunch there, watched a bit of Sketch to Country and just had a nice catch up with them. We then got home, I then watched Home and Away and was just writing a bit of my journal. And then for tea, we had pizza and I had the leftover bit of cheesecake that I'd gotten the other day from the co-op and I had that with a cup of tea and I'm going to show you guys the photo of that now. I love cheesecake so much. I then watched the UK soaps, first right in my journal, put that away and then I went off to bed and on my Saturday I got up after a really crappy night's sleep and I was just watching a bit of Netflix. I watched 30 Going On 30, which is such a great film. Love Mark Ruffalo. And my mum got up and my dad was sort of stuff on the house. Older brother was at his girlfriend's house. He got to stay there for a few days. Younger brother was at his. Younger sister at uni and older sister was at hers. I then was just doing a bit of writing, a bit of colouring in, reading and had some biscuits and a cup of tea and sorted out my pretty doll. I was just watching some vlogs and TikToks and my dad had gone off to bed and I was just watching a bit of Merlin and tidied up my office and my dolls and was just putting some new dolls into my dollhouse and getting some dolls and dollhouse photography. I then got myself ready to go off for a walk after I'd just been chilling watching a bit of Netflix and watching some funny dog and cat videos and I went off to one of the shops at the top of the high street that is quite a fancy shop and i got some fake flower snaps that i'm going to show you guys now I love all the colours on the fake plants. I know they're fake plants on like flowers and stuff, but I went to go to the flower shop, but it was shut, so I got some fake ones instead. And they were still pretty realistic, and I think they looked pretty nice. I then had a little look around more of the shop, and I got this fake plant pot that I'm gonna put in my dollhouse, and I love it. I then had a look at some of the squished mallows and like soft cuddly toys which are really back in at the moment. My young sister is obsessed, she has so many like squash mallows and cuddly toys at the moment. And I got a snap of this adorable little soft toy cake display that I'm going to show you guys a photo of now. It was so cute. And I ended up getting myself one, love it. I mean, who doesn't love a bit of cake? And you know me, I'm a massive cake lover. And it has a little face on it. Look at that, this is so cute. I then went and had a look around some more of the child shops and I got this doll here, which I love. She's got such long hair with a bit of pink in it. And it's a stuffy, a Steffi Love doll. And yeah, I love her outfit. And she comes with her shoes, her dress, her hair. I had this doll when I was younger. I ended up cutting all the hair off, giving her a bit of a choppy bob. And yeah, so I have now got her back and she's got her luscious locks back, which I'm so happy about. I then went off to my favorite old coffee shop and I had a white chocolate mint frappe and a blueberry slice from there. Let me show you guys now. It's so good in there. I was having a nice chat with the owner and one of the colleagues there. I then went off and made way back home and it got really foggy. And so on the way back, I got a bit of photography of the fog. And I'm gonna show you guys the photos that I got of that now. I'm 
really happy with how they turned out. It's very eerie, quite mythical. I think you could probably like put in a few like fairies and stuff and you, it looked quite like fairy tale kind of thing, like a dark gothic kind of fairy tale, like the woods and stuff. And yeah, I love it. And walking back, it was quite like eerie. And I thought, oh my God, hopefully they don't get murdered. I then got home and my grandma had come over and was just over for the afternoon and my dad was getting ready to go off to do a disco so he was getting all the disco stuff ready he didn't want off to do that and me and my grandma then went and collected the fish and chips that we got for tea and then we drove up there my grandma dropped, drove us up and i got out and got the fish and chips and driving up and back was quite like anxious filled because it was so foggy and you couldn't really see anything and it was dark as well and i was like oh my god because my grandma isn't the most confident of drivers but she did a really good job and then of course she had to reverse out when she dropped me off and so of course i got the food came back out and she still hadn't like got out of the space so I was like, oh my god i hope she's okay but she got out she then dropped me back and we sorted out the food which was mine and which was hers and my grandpa's and then she went off home and then i had my tea when i got in and I had chicken and chips, and I'm gonna show you guys a photo of that now. It was so good. I love chicken and chips. Forgot to get the curry sauce, which is a bit of a bummer, but it was equally good. I had that and had an apple tango as well. And then me and my mum were just watching a bit of Say Yes to the Dress. Absolutely loved that show. And I got a snap of my cat sat on the shelf above the radiator literally toasting herself because the radiator was on full blast so she's literally so warm and she's just so comfortable and i stroked her and she's purring she's being so cute i want to show you guys a photo of that now i love that cat so much she can be a white pain in the backside sometimes but she could also be so adorable i then watched casualty finish my fight on my journal put that away and then I was just doing some TikToks and pasted those, worked on some illustrations, listened to a bit of music, sorted out my Dolls and Dollhouse and my Pleat Up Doll, had some cereal and was just watching a bit of Netflix. My dad then got back from doing his disco and I then was just watching a bit of Merlin, a little bit of Doctor Who, 10th Doctor Hour and I can't wait for the 60th anniversary, the Doctor Who 60th anniversary trailer with the 10th Doctor and Donna looks amazing i just cannot wait to see that i then went off to bed and then on my sunday which is today i had work doing nine till three i was supposed to be doing a nine till three and then six till close yeah six till ten and i would have done it but one of my colleagues who is like full time and she was watching more hours was saying how she wouldn't mind having some more hours so I was like well I've already done three splits of Sunday splitches in a row and I wouldn't mind having a Sunday evening off so I asked if she would do my six till ten and she agreed so that was good when I got a nice Sunday evening off so I was just doing ten to three in the end and my dad was getting stuff sorted around the house mum was asleep older brother was still at his girlfriend's house staying away old sister at hers, younger brother at his, young sister up in uni, and I was just playing on Pokemon Go, listening to a bit of music, and getting myself ready for work. My dad then dropped me off to work. I got to work, got clocked in, and before I could even put my bag and coat away and say good morning to my crew who I was on shift with, I had to go off to Audi and get some milk and some flour, and I had to get 2kg of flour and of course my math isn't the best of course i'm having to call my older sister and be like is this why and i i got why i got it was two bags and it'd be like three three bags worth so it was like what they needed but i was second guessing myself and i thought i'd call my older sister up just to check just in case i did try to call my dad but he was in tesco at the time of course i said northern that's not the best so i was like phew got it why I then got in, gave the flour to the kitchen, gave them up to my colleague who was on coffees because we literally went off milk. And then I was on bar for a little bit, doing a few drink making, a few wines. 
pouring a few pints. I was then just doing lots of food and drink orders and bill taking and cleaning lots of tables. And it was so busy with quite a few big bookings. And we, there was like four of us on. And yeah, it was a really good day. Tripped over while taking a load of plates off a table that I was cleaning and almost got a load of stuff all over one of my colleagues. And I was, I was so sorry. And that was the only time I, I tripped over, thank God, I'm just so clumsy. And one of my colleagues kindly made me a chai latte and I put a little chocolate heart in there myself. I'm gonna show you guys a photo of that now. My first go at putting a little heart in my drink and I think it turned out pretty well. And then it quietened down again. So I was just doing a massive clean up and polishing lots of cutlery, putting loads of cleaning cups and plates away. And then we had a massive booking of six people that came in about one-ish. And so that kept us quite busy. And then by two-ish, it quieted down again. And I then finished at three. I clocked off, got my bag and coat, and one of my colleagues, who I normally work with on Sunday nights when I do my splits, came on to do free job clothes. So I just explained how one of our other colleagues coming in to do my 610 and said I hope you have a nice evening filled my colleagues in on like who's been seen who hadn't been seen and I'd done a massive cleanup before the people who were starting the evening shifts got in and I then head off to the co-op I got myself some lunch from there and then my dad picked me up we got home I got changed I'm wearing one of my new jumpers it's a nice red striped jumper love it and it was a little bit itchy at first because it's new and I'm, i wasn't used to it but i'm I, it's quite comfortable now quite nice and warm keeping me tasty warm it's so cold out at the moment i then had my lunch and i had chicken caesar wraps and a orange lucas aid i love orange lucas aid so much and had a chocolate whisper some four cocktail crisps which is my which are my favorite crisps ever that or skips which are like the same thing and then i was just watching some tiktoks watching some funny dog and cat videos again and just some vlogs listen to a bit of music just some drawing and coloring in sort up my beat up doll wrote a bit of my journal and my mum was getting the tea ready doing a roast dinner and my older brother is at his girlfriend's house he was going to come back i think yeah he came back last night and then he's gone over to stay there again and staying over until monday when he's going to work and then they've come back home after work on monday and he went and watched my he watched, went and watched his girlfriend play rugby and she did really well and so he's there at the moment and then my older sister came over to have tea and we had our sunday roast and i'm going to show you guys a photo of that now It was so delicious. Love the stuffing. The stuffing is so good. And the potatoes. Oh, I just love a Sunday roast. And then my dad got us all custard slices. So I had that for my pudding with a cup of tea. And I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. I love a custard slice. It is just so good. I then helped tidy away. And then my older sister stayed for a little bit and she's now gone off home. And I got my uniform ready for work tomorrow. I'm doing nine till three. I'm then off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then back in Friday night doing six till 10, no, six till 11.30. And Saturday I'm doing six till 10. So I'm doing two evening shifts. I used to hate evening shifts, but now I've done like three split shifts back to put on, on Sundays. My evening shift phobia has gone and I'm really enjoying work at the moment. Got a really good team. And yeah, I had a really good day at work and had a really good place on at work. We had a lot of music from the 90s playing. So at one point we had a lot of Bewitched, a bit of Stets, a bit of Spice Girls, which I absolutely loved. And I'm now off to go and watch today's Love Island and Dancing on Ice, which I absolutely love. Love a bit of Dancing on Ice. I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend and you've all had a lovely evening and all like, comment and subscribe and have a lovely rest of your Sunday and a fabulous week ahead. I shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.